In this video, we're going to start the new topic of the circle. So, we've got a circle here, and I'm just going to add in a set of axes. And you can see the centre of that circle is the origin. Now, say I've got a point on the circumference of the circle. We'll say it's 3, 4. Now, I have two points, so I'm able to find the radius of that circle. I can do this by creating a right angle triangle with lengths 3 and 4. And my hypotenuse at the moment, that's my radius, that's unknown. So, as I've said, it's a right angle triangle, so I can use Pythagoras' theorem which would mean that the hypotenuse squared, that's r squared, is equal to the sum of the squares of the two shorter sides, so that's 3 squared plus 4 squared. In this case, we can see that r squared would be 25, and therefore the radius would be 5. So we've been able to work out the radius of that circle, given a point on the circumference. However, if we just had any point x, y, okay, so we're generalising now, we had a, spe a specific case previously and now we are generalising for any point on the circumference. If we go through the same, pro the same process, we can see our horizontal length in our right angle triangle here is x and our vertical length is y and our hypotenuse is still the radius. Okay. And if we set up our equation as before, so the hypotenuse squared is equal to the sum of the squares of the two shorter sides, so that's r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. Now, this here, I'm just going to change the sides around here so that we're starting with x squared plus y squared equals r squared. And that is the equation of a circle with centre at the origin 0, 0. And that's x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So you can see that the equation of a circle, it might seem new to you because you've not seen equations um, with x squared and y squared before. Um, we've only tended to see one or the other. Um, but you can see the equation of the circle comes directly from Pythagoras' theorem, which you are familiar with. So, let's work with this just now, this x squared plus y squared equals the radius squared. Okay, so we know that if we have an equation of that form, that is a circle with centre at the origin. Okay, so for the first example, we want to state the equation of the circle with centre at the origin and radius 5 units. Okay, so we know that the, the general form of... Um, an equation with the centre at the origin is x squared plus y squared equals r squared. And in this case, our r, that's the radius, is 5 units. So we can expand the right-hand side, obviously. 5 squared is 25. And that is our equation there. So example 2. We want to state the centre and radius of this of the circle with equation x squared plus y squared equals 121. Okay, so in example one you can see we were stating the equation of the circle when we were given the centre and the radius. This time we're given the equation and we're asked to state the centre and the radius. Okay, so we know that if an equation is in this form x squared plus y squared equals a constant that means that we have centre at the origin, 0, 0. Our radius, we can see that the radius squared is 121, so the radius must be the square root of 121, and that is 11 units. So, if you've not copied down uh, the two examples already, just now would be a good time to pause the video and do that before coming back for example 3. Okay, welcome back folks, and um, we'll just look at a third example here, 
and we're asked to state the equation of the circle with centre at the origin once again, which passes through the point negative 5, 12. So let's picture this to start with, okay, because it's a slightly different um, scenario that we've been given uh, initially here. So here's a circle, you can see it's got centre at the origin, and there's a point on the circumference negative 5, 12. So you can see that there. Now, in order to be able to state the equation of a circle, I need to know the centre, which I do, that's great. Um, but I also need to know the radius. So again, I can use this, uh, I can find the radius using Pythagoras' theorem. Okay, so there's my radius there. And I'm going to create my right angle triangle using the horizontal length of 5 and the vertical length of 12. So that means that using Pythagoras' theorem, we'll have the radius squared is equal to the sum of the squares of the two shorter sides, that's 5 squared plus 12 squared. The square of the radius is 169, and therefore the radius is 13 units. Now, remember, we're not finished, we're asked to state the equation of the circle, okay? So the fact that it has the centre at the origin, it means it's x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So that's x squared plus y squared equals 13 squared. And we can expand the right hand side. We can square the 13 to give us 169. So that is our final answer for our equation. So it would be a good idea to pause the video at this point and copy the example down before the screen goes blank and then go and complete the assigned exercise for today.